YouTube channel and welcome to this week's upload. Uh, today I'm just out on the Cotswold Loop uh, on the Himalayan. I haven't done this loop for quite a while. Uh, dodging the showers. I mean, I don't know if you can see over there. It's, yeah, I'm going to get wet at some point today. <laughs> but anyway, today I am testing the uh, AX41 Battle Axe tyres. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, so far, so good. I've had to let some pressure out because I've just blown them up too hard. And um, they're behaving a little bit better. But yeah, I think once these are bedded in properly, they'll be absolutely cracking. Bit of a game changer. So, so why the AX41s? Well, you know, I did a whole lot of reading. Um, so, you know, looking at the reviews, the reviews are really, really good. And... Um, you know, across the board on, on heavyweight... Hey, there's a bike coming. Um, on the heavyweight bikes and uh, on the lighter ones as well, you know, both on the road and... Uh... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> First, I suppose. Oh, is he a first? I can be, yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah, oh, wow. So you're just out and about for the day? Yeah, I'm just exploring. I'm trying to perfect my skills before I went on another ride. Oh, you? wow. <laughs> See, secret training is going on. Oh, oh blimey. Oh, wow. I can't believe this. This is so random. In the middle of nowhere. It's, you know, it's just occurred to me you're filming. Yeah, 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 totally. Oh, God's sake. Yeah, I'm doing a review on the AX41s today. So uh, yeah. we'll see how it goes. What was the cost of them? Um, I think it was about 230 all in. Um, fitted. fitted, yeah. But the Himalayan on the rear is a very strange size. Can't remember it off the top of my head, but I know I really struggled to find a matching pair of tyres for it. Oh, yeah. Any road up, get your yeah. helmet off. Oh, and let's carry on. No, no, I want to ask you about your bike. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chances of that. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, I think you've heard it all about the AX41s. Let's see how they go. I read a lot of reviews. People are raving about them. So, strange times. You've met Gibbo before. And here he is out on the bum trails in the Cotswolds, just when I'm trying to have a nice, quiet day to myself. Middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. <laughs> Anyway, the reason I stopped you is um, is to say, you know, is the Triumph now sorted? Yes, completely fixed. It was such a simple thing. It was just one little four-pin plug that wasn't quite firmly connected properly from the factory, and it was just making and breaking. So they've stripped it all down, found it, plugged it in properly. I've got everything working. Yay! Happy boy! Oh yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah. It's made no difference the way the bike rides, but now at least I know how fast I'm going. Yeah. So I've got yeah. nothing before. Yeah, I mean, just knew yeah. the time and that was it. Yeah, and you've got that bit of reliability back as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and Blade again, they, they took it in, they kept it, they loaned me a bike, they kept, they loaned me another one of these, but I didn't go and quite get it dirty as this one. Um, and they kept it until they were satisfied that they sorted it. Yeah. And they relayed back to the factory. So when you go to Blade, you're kind of going straight to try to the break. Yeah, yeah. Blade in Stratford. Check them out. So we are in the beautiful Cotswolds, in the middle of nowhere. Well, I thought I was in the middle of nowhere. But... <laughs> anyway, so Gibbo has asked if he can tag along today. Uh, you know, it turns out that... Uh, since we last went out, he's been out on a few trails on his own, which is cool. Um, but, you know, we both figure it's just that bit safer to ride together. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, he's going to tag along. I'll show him a few of these new ones. So uh, on his next adventure, he knows where to go. And in the meantime, I'll let you know how these tyres are. I mean, on stony stuff like this, solid as... I mean, I used to come more unstuck in the mud, so uh, things should have improved vastly uh, with that aspect. Yeah. 
This is one of my all-time favourite spots. I just, it just feels so ancient and. Uh, yeah, we can either stop this side or. All right, it's very rocky. So either go on that side, which isn't is, is sand. That's all right. Or the bridge, which is slippy, or through the rocks. Choice is yours. Stop at the mound and scope it. Okay. Okay. So I think Gibbo is going to have a go at riding through this one. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Excellent, loads of confidence. So it's always a bit of a chuckle coming out with Gibbo, and he just said to me, you never guess what I was just standing in while I was filming you. It's just I was standing in a gooseberry bush. And I thought, no, gooseberry bush out in the wild, you know. And now, yeah, and there we go. There's gooseberries hanging on the gooseberry bush. <laughs> oh, oh, my granddad used to call them goose gogs. I don't know where that quite came from, but it always makes me laugh when I see it. Gooseberry bush. <laughs> there you go. Now we're not fair where the rider is. <laughs> was absolutely bucketing it down. Please stop. So we're going to see if it eases off and then we'll carry on. <laughs> or swim home. Or swim home. <laughs> so at this point, uh, my microphones have completely failed. Um, so I'll explain this one. So I'm riding down the trail and it's all wet and scrubbly and stuff. I spotted what I thought were two really pretty stones on the trail, uh, but it turns out it was uh, these two, two giant massive snails just minding their own business out on the trail. Uh, so I decided to move them off the trail, but first of all, I had a right good look at them because I've never seen snails this big before. Uh, you know, they're massive. <laughs> Uh, so I was like quite chuffed to find these. I wasn't sure what they were at the time. Uh, of course I know now, but uh, look at the size of them. Absolutely huge compared to my finger. <laughs> so sorry for this interlude, but uh, it just explains the snails. <laughs> So while we're just mooching around like this, um, back to the review on the tyres. So uh, I've ridden in every condition today, so dry roads, wet roads, mud, stone, gravel. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I can throw at them in one day. <laughs> Maybe desert, but we're not going to find that in the Cotswolds. And, um, so far, so good. I think key to it is getting the pressures right and uh, getting that sussed out. Um, so I've let the pressures out, uh, which is a little bit low for the road now. Um, so I'm having to take it a little bit easy. But it's also made me realise I probably need to invest in one of those small mountain bike uh, tyre pumps. And that would just, you know, solve all the issues then, or, you know, a little tyre pressure gauge and a pump. Uh, and then if I know I'm going to hit one of the trails hard, uh, I can just let that pressure out. And if I know I'm going to be doing a lot of road after, I could just pump them right back up again. Uh, so every day is a learning day. Um, you know, I had the knobbly tyres on me old KLR. That didn't seem as critical on that because I never did the distance. You know, 
know, I only ever really stayed local on that. I think the first thing so I went was Wiltshire. So I just used to run those at about 20 psi, and that was all good. Uh, but because this is a little bit more capable of higher road speed, um, yeah, it just needs a little bit more refining, I think. I mean, I'm sat at 60 now, and it's doing nothing spooky, you know? Uh, a nice dry road. So, so far, so good. Right. Thumbs up so far, definitely. I think this is one of our last trails today. Uh, nice one to finish on. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> but look, unclassified county road. Oh no, there's a tree across it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, I'm not going to ride over that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you haven't got the back wheel in yet, yet. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we survived! <laughs> well, I'm not going to start carrying a chainsaw with me. <laughs> See, we, I think we could have gone round there. <laughs> it would have been a whole lot easier. <laughs> oh well. Revenge will be sweet. <laughs> so hopefully the last bit of this ride will dry me out. Thank you to Kibbo for the uh, free shower of sheep poo water. <laughs> it's just still dripping off me now. <laughs> oh, but what a day. I think we've had every type of weather there is. Uh, we've seen giant snails, giant cotswold snails, again. Just mention in the comments if you know what types of snails those were. Kind of interesting. Uh, we've seen rainbows, we've seen, oh, you know, the red kites flying alongside us. Uh, the cotswolds just keeps on giving. Uh, so lucky to have it on my doorstep. <laughs> so we're just heading back towards Evesham. Uh, the weather's really closed in there. What happened to flame in June? It's more like flipping June. It's just rubbish. Anyway, let's not moan about the weather. Uh, so I think we're going to just... Uh, Go and grab a bite to eat because we're not really having anything all day. And, uh, and 
and that's that. That's the end of the day. So, what's my final verdict on the Valax AX41 tyres? Uh, a big thumbs up. Uh, when they first went on the bike, I thought, oh no, what have I done? These are horrible, they're slippery. Um, especially on the road, it's horrendous. But here I am, they're bedded in quite nicely. Um, managing to go around islands now and get a bit of lean on. Um, so I think, you know, key is scrubbing them in, getting the pressures right. And uh, job is a good one. Uh, so would I recommend them? Hell yes, absolutely. Uh, I mean, this bike is now worlds apart from what it used to be. Uh, a lot of that would have been absolutely terrifying today, but all of a sudden the bike would just do it. So, uh, yeah, I am more than impressed. So, um, yeah, keep an eye out for more crazy adventures. <laughs> uh, what a day. What a mad day. <laughs> for so many reasons. Oh, but, oh, cracking nonetheless. So, anyway, if you've liked and uh, today, <laughs> I've buggered that up. If you've enjoyed today, be sure to hit that like button if you're not already subscribed I mean by heck I'm up to 250 subscribers now that's massive for me I had no idea it was going to go that well anyway yeah hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and uh, of course the notification button and then you'll get notified on the new uploads until then I will see you in the next one. Ride safe and see you next time. Another beautiful day in paradise.